Welcome back, everyone. Albinism is a congenital disorder resulting in partial or complete lack of pigment in the skin, eyes, and hair. People with albinism usually have light skin and hair and impaired vision. There's no cure, only management. People with albinism must avoid sunburns and get regular skin checks. For the most part, the eyes are treated with visual rehabilitation, meaning glasses, magnifiers, and sometimes surgery. Vitiligo is a condition that causes skin to lose pigment cells. <coughs> Recently, CoverGirl Cosmetics and Teen Vogue magazine launched a campaign to fight the stigma associated with skin disorders. It can be hard enough for adults to deal with very obvious skin conditions, but can you imagine what it's like for little children? An unusual friendship made all the difference for one young boy. Meet Carter and Rowdy, who met for the first time thanks to viewers in Portland, Oregon, who helped raise funds for a cross-country flight. It's as if they've known each other their whole lives. Carter Blanchard and Rowdy are connected through spots. I definitely knew that we would come soon. I didn't realize it would happen within like two days. For the last year, Carter and Rowdy only knew each other digitally. But Rowdy taught Carter to love his skin, despite vitiligo. See his new spot right there on his nose. Your new spot right there on your cheek. Stephanie says Carter gained the confidence she always wanted him to have. Really, it, it was life-changing for him, and it changed his childhood for the better, and it was a gift I couldn't give him. Now seeing her confident boy doing flips, stopping just long enough to pet Rowdy, she says even his darkest days were worth it. It couldn't be any other person that made him feel better. It couldn't be anyone with vitiligo that made him feel better. It had to be Rowdy. It had to be a dog. It was a long-awaited moment for Rowdy and his owner, Nikki Umbenhauer, too. I have goosebumps right now and I just think about the minute that they've walked in the door. It's, I'm actually tearing up. It's pretty amazing. A moment Stephanie wasn't sure would ever happen, but thanks to K2 viewers, it did. I wasn't 100% sure that we'd ever get to get them together. Um, and so now that we have those memories. And now after an impromptu photo shoot, they can keep their memories forever. This is far more than we ever deserved. <laughs> um, so we're just, um, we're overwhelmed with the support. As for Carter, he loves his four-legged friend, but says Rowdy, he needs more spots. He needs some on his back. <laughs> Connected through their spots and now with an unbreakable bond. Fun. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Um, getting to pet him. Zavia Siska Ross is the owner of Zavia Beauty Boutique. It's a mobile hair and makeup styling business. And she's been on the show before. And, and I felt like this was such a great topic for you to address. You know, because you do work with women who are um, trying maybe to conceal skin conditions. Most definitely. I do all the time. Thanks for having me on the show again, mm -hmm. by the way. Uh, and, you know, nowadays women are more accepting their vitiligo skin conditions with the world and even the story that you just showed with yeah. the little dog and everything. Right. Um, and, and, and those models. I mean, yeah, who, the models. Yeah. Uh, they're doing really, really good. Really awareness um, about it. Harlow, Winnie Harlow, right, she's right. very popular popular and she embraces her vitiligo. Her makeup artist actually accentuates the white spots and cover and, and conceals the dark spots. They actually work oh, with the really? color. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. They don't cover it all up to make it one even skin tone yeah. because they want other vitiligo patients to accept mm -hmm. their beauty and know that they're beautiful. That's how God made them. So that's how they are. They're different, but they're beautiful. Vitiligo mm -hmm. really became known I think it was through Michael Jackson. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. And look how long ago that was. That was long ago. <laughs> so long ago. Uh -huh. And I mean, there was a little ridicule back then with that vitiligo situation. I, I think because we didn't know how to accept it. Right. But nowadays, I mean, if Michael was here today, I know he'll probably probably wear his own vitiligo. Who knows? Sure. You know, because it's a little more accepted. I can understand why he felt a certain way back then yeah. about the whole situation. There are laser treatments that can be used nowadays. Um, you can see results in three to four months. Okay. Um, and that's covered by all insurances. From what I see, Medicare, Medicaid, everything covers it. There's black seed oil you can use. What would you do? Like, would you mm -hmm. use like um, this, a special <laughs> concealer mm -hmm. or like the Dermablend sort of stuff? You right? said the right name, Dermablend. Okay. I mean, Dermablend has been around for years uh -huh. and it's always been a product that has been for, you know, discoloration skin. 
Mm -hmm. And it's a wa they have it's waterproof also, so it's really good. Fifteen hour wear. Oh, especially like if you're going to the beach. Or I'm telling I you, guess, when you have more skin showing. Exactly, right. exactly. So you're gonna get fifteen hour wear. They have the products that come with it. I love Dermablend for vitiligo um, mm -hmm. patients because it works perfectly, and they have a wide range of colors. So that's I, so important. Exactly, right. because it would match the skin that's missing. So you're not really yes. trying to blend the skin like how we would, as you know, us who don't have vitiligo, yes. we yes. try to kind of blend our skin right. and make it a little tanned mm -hmm. or a little lighter, depending on sure. the season. But with vitiligo, you can just cover up the, the lighter spots to match the darker spots with the derma blend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome. I love it. Well, you are an interesting, an interesting woman, and you're so talented and mm -hmm. so creative. You've had such an interesting career, mm -hmm. and you've had a lot of experience in television makeup. Just, just tell us a little bit about your background. Oh, okay, well, I have been working at CNN and Weather Channel and different movie outlets and different television outlets for the last 15, 20 years, uh -huh. and it's been amazing. I've taken a little time off to raise my baby, yeah. but now, you know, I'm ready to get back on the scene. I'm ready to get back and, and help people in the field mm -hmm. and so forth. Uh, it's been a really, really nice wild ride roller coaster ride you know coming from the salon where i started into yeah. television somewhere i never knew i would end up right i never even dreamed of it i never even knew that you guys did makeup or i thought yeah. you were fake <laughs> <laughs> You know, and I said, okay, I guess this is what I'm going to do. So my right. career has been amazing, and it's been, you know, it's been wonderful. It's been a wonderful ride so far. You grew uh -huh. up in New York. Grew up in New York, mm -hmm. moved to Atlanta, and now I'm here with you all in uh, the South, in the yes. Augusta town, yes. you know, and I love it. In all the heat. I, before, oh, before my goodness. Camera, she was blotting <laughs> me and powdering me. A little blotting and everything. <laughs> Yeah, so it's been great. I mean, I've had a, a really fun, fun ride with um, my career, and I'm so blessed that I've been able to experience, you know, different types of people mm -hmm. with different skin issues, um, sunburns. Sometimes even for Halloween, we would create a sunburn look on our weather on our weathermen <laughs> so it's just been like so fun to try to create and recreate and and develop different things you know uh-huh i love it and with your mobile business now uh, that you have here in augusta <coughs> mm -hmm. you can uh, actually go to your client and you do wedding parties mm -hmm. and you you just sort of can do whatever people need and you also mm -hmm. do a lot with with hair with weaves and locks oh. and wigs wigs yes <laughs> We one love day, our wigs. One day she is going to come, and I'm going to have the most amazing wig. You, one day. When I say you're going to show up one on air with day. one, you will. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, it's been it's been great. I do have a mobile business here in mm -hmm. local Augusta area. I sometimes travel out as far as Aiken. Mm -hmm. And um, I've have, I have clients out there as well. And, you know, it's been amazing. Um, I can go to your office place. Uh, I meet my clients sometimes wherever we need to meet to make it happen. I'm all about making you look like you're getting ready to look on the cover of Vogue. I understand it might be last minute. So I'm always willing to work with my clients in no matter the situation. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we're so glad that you were willing to work with us. And I love it when you're on the show. I love it when I'm here. And, and I think it would be a fun time, too, mm -hmm. to... Um, perhaps throw out uh, throw out an offer to any viewer who might be ready for a makeover. I'm or telling you, look. yes. Would you be interested in doing that you if can we had somebody here? Definitely. So if yes. you would be interested in being a model and and letting Zod do your makeup on the air for us, uh, just email me, Jay Montgomery uh, at WJBF.com, or you can like the Jenny page on Facebook and you can message me there. But we would love to get um, different challenges in. Love and, to. And I just want to keep her coming back as often as she can. Definitely. So, <laughs> so contact us and we'll, we'll let you be one of the folks who gets the star treatment from Xavier Cisco Ross. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me, Jenny. Absolutely. Coming up.